everybody today I am going to be taking a look at a requested pen these are the new sharpie s gel pens they are not sharpie standard fine point they are not sharpie standard fine liner type pen marker type pen these are actually gel pens that are not supposed to smear or bleed now I got these off of Amazon the cost was five dollars and 24 cents for this four pack it is the 0.7 medium tip two black pens a red pen and a blue pen. The colors that I have seen so far are red, black, and blue, although the only time I've seen red so far has been in this pack. I have not been able to get my hands on the 0.5 or the 1.0, so the, the fine or the bold tips, because they only come in 12 packs, and I didn't want to order that many pens without knowing whether or not I like them, so 0.7 it is. The cost for the 12 packs of pens, whether they are blue, 0.5s or black bolds or whatever on Amazon run the gamut between $13 for a 12 pack and $20 for a 12 pack. It depends on what kind of pen you want. And these pens when I ordered them took a couple weeks to arrive but I think now they have gotten to like standard prime shipping. Allegedly they will be sold in places like Target and Office Depot and all that but I have not seen them at least in any of my local ones which isn't really new. Often it's hard to find new stuff at my stores Apparently Napa doesn't get shit until late. According to the back here, they are supposed to be no smear, no bleed technology for an exceptional writing experience with intensely bold, vivid ink colors and a comfortable writing experience. And like I said, the three point sizes are 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 1.0, and these are the 0 0.7. So I will compare them to a Pilot G2 because that is probably the most standard 0 0.7 I see around these parts, and I just happen to have one. Before we do that, let's take a look at the body. So the body feels like a standard pen. It's kind of like a shiny, but not super shiny body here with a rubbery grip that's got some texture on it. There is like a metal band at the top of the grip that indicates the color. It's either silver for black, blue, or red. The clip is actually really hardy and looks like it'll work. I probably won't be do well with one piece of paper. Yeah, it's a little too wide for one piece of paper, but it looks like it'll work really well on a stack of like three or four. It says S gel in silver embossing on the clip. And then the size is right here, 0.7. It's a clicker pen, nice clicky. And it gives you the little balls, <laughs> balls on the end to keep the ink from leaking. So let me take care of that really quick. These little balls come off okay. Um, I mean, I have a little bit of a nail right now, but there have been times, I don't even know, I don't even know what video, so I probably can't send you there, but I know there was at least one video where I tried to peel, oh, just like this. God damn it, okay. Where I tried to peel the little ball thing off and it kind of had melted onto it and it just took for freaking ever. Ah, uh, the joy of reviewing pens. It's been a while since I've really reviewed pens. It's been a while. In terms of just my grip so far, the size of the pen is a decent size. I like the rubber grip, although I tend to not enjoy textured grips because I have pretty sore calluses from all the writing and lettering I do, not to mention don't look at my nasty nails, but I am hangnail queen right now, and these kinds of textured grips tend to really irritate my hangnails. So it's just something for you to know in case that's something that bothers you. To compare body-wise to the standard Pilot G2, the pens are basically the same length. The difference here is that the body of the G2 is clear so that you can see when it's starting to run out of ink. I would suggest that the clips are basically similar in sturdiness, but the G2 is a little bit tighter and I prefer the grip of the G2 better. However, I think that overall the S gels are a much more attractive pen. Like these will be more likely to get stolen, I think. <laughs> All right, so let's just test these out on this paper. This is just for some basic like looking at the colors and seeing how they smear and then how they compare with the G2. This is a, what kind of notebook is this? This is new, I just got this from the art supply store. This is a Japanese notebook, Merriman. It's got paper very similar to like the Rodia paper, so it's pretty smooth. But what I will do is just look at the colors and compare them to the G2 on this paper, and then I will do a pen test on the Leuchtturm, which is the thinner paper, on a Archer and Olive, which is the 160 GSM bullet journal type paper, and then on my Erin Condren. So you can see how they perform on all three of those. So the colors here are really vibrant. They write really smoothly. I don't see any like weird, like skippy things that can sometimes happen with a gel pen. Now here is the Pilot G2. 
which I think writes just as smoothly. But I don't know if you can see, but within the G2, it's a little bit more inkiness. I don't know how well you can see on camera. This looks very smooth, whereas the G2, at a lot of these downstrokes, looks like it has a little bit of inky puddles. And I guess the best way to test this is to test how they smear. So there's this one. There's a little bit of smearing. And the G2. And there's a whole lot of smearing. So the G2's inkier. These do smear right off the bat, though. Like, they don't... They're not, like, dry from the second you put them down. Let's try writing a word. Sharpie. And so there's a bit of smearing. But then if you write Sharpie with the G2, quite a bit more smearing. So they smear less than the G2s, but they do smear a little bit. And as for bleeding, I don't really see any bleeding, but they all, both the G2 and the Sharpie ridge a whole hell of a lot, which is just something that happens with gel pens. I'm just saying. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pen test these in each of my books to see how they do in terms of bleed through and smearing. So this is the Loish Term 2019, or the, the Loish Term 1917. And as you can see here, they do bleed through a little bit and they shadow like immensely. So I would not necessarily, I don't usually recommend gel pens on this type of paper anyway, but like it shows through quite a bit here, not completely bleed through, but there's like spots where the ink pools up a little bit where it absolutely does bleed through and the ridging is really bad. So I would not recommend these as gels on the Loisterm style of paper. This is my Archer and Olives. This is 160 GSM paper. Now where there is a little bit of ridging here, I didn't expect to see any shadowing or bleeding and there isn't any. And there isn't even a lot of ridging, there's just a little bit. So I'm heavy handed. If you're not heavy handed, you probably won't have any ridging at all or very, very little because this is a very light amount for me. It's mainly just on the end here of the D and that, I don't, you can't probably see it, but I can see that it's darker, so I obviously press down harder there. And then finally, here is my Erin Condren planner. So there's a little bit of shadowing here, but the ridging is actually the least ridging out of the three papers that I tried, which confuses me because this paper is not as thick as the Archer and Olive. And I feel like I was pressing down pretty hard. There is very light ridging, but there is no like big ridging. And there's a little tiny bit of shadowing, but no bleed through. So all in all, I would say these are solid pens that cost about in the same range, depending on what tip you want. I would say their accessibility is not the greatest in the world. You still have, like finding these is probably not going to be the easiest thing in the world, but they are very vibrant and they do write really smoothly. So I would take their no smearing with a grain of salt because they do smear a little bit. If you're a lefty, you're probably gonna notice that, but if you're not a lefty, you may not have that much problem with that much of a problem with it. What I would like to see from these pens in the future is a much wider range of availability for all of the tip sizes, as well as more colors. Sharpie has a lot of gorgeous colors in their other inks and their other pens, and I would love to see those reflected in these as well. But overall, they seem to be a pretty solid entry into the gel pen realm of whatever, and you know, can't, can't argue with that. More pens for everybody, right? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if there are any pens you would like me to take a look at. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my dudes, peace out.